over the, R- Riley texted me last night and he said, "Hey, do you want to you want to talk about this Filmstruck thing?" I said, "I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what's happening. I know what Filmstruck is, but I have no idea what's happening with Filmstruck." Give us a full breakdown here, Riley. What the hell's going on with Filmstruck? Well, Filmstruck was a streaming service right. for all classics, and they did, um, you know, Alicia Malone, Amy Rose, Eisenmont, all worked for this this company, uh, doing shows, producing, and Filmstruck was canceled essentially. They're pulling it, and uh, the the conversation that started really is that nobody's watching classic movies anymore. Yeah, and that is the classic movie dead. Is you know, and it's I mean. The, the article on Collider is like, everything is terrible. Film struck to shut down next month. And it's like, because of these, all these streaming services was that competing. Me? What was that? Oh. Is that mic on with you guys again? Are you leaving no, your mic No, that was you guys. No, 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 no. no. None that, of our that, mics are That time it was, but I still hear Was it you? That was definitely me, but I'm not the one oh. I'm talking about. Was that a I burp felt or something? It, it, was like, it, was the, it was the bubbles inside. Oh, my like, God. And it started to scream. That's how I burp. Because nothing comes out, so it yeah. just, I thought that was me. It just kind of escapes. Yeah. Not important. Keep going, <laughs> Riley. Sorry. sorry. Yeah. Well, anyways. <laughs> anyway. So, the com- there it is. The conversation is, is you know, uh, is it dead? Because we have all these streaming services now that are, are competing for your dollar. Right. Hulu, Netflix, we're getting the Disney, we're getting the DC, we're getting all, we're get, there's so many fucking streaming services. This is the first casualty. And it's because nobody's really watching the classic uh, movies anymore, or... It's what? not. It's it's not. It's not the high demand of what people want to spend their money on. Right. And because so you, you have your film purists yeah. that are going like, "Damn it! Like why?" And it's it's a loss of look, money for the company. Look at the the landscape. And so yeah. they they point to superhero movies and Star Wars and all this kind of stuff is taking look, all the the attention. Let's use our channel as a comparison. Yeah. Right. When we put out a review of Avengers: Infinity War. 200, 300,000 views. Right. You put it, if I put up a, a review of it's all about Nina, 5,000 views. Yeah. Now, it's not necessarily a classic uh-huh. film, but you, you see what I'm saying? The small people's interest, they don't know what it is. And it's that thing is the casual fan, they don't know what it is, they don't care. If they know what it is, they want to watch. Now, as in the case of classics, you can catch a movie, a classic, that either go get it on Blu ray or you can watch it if it pops up on TBS or something, though, too. Why do I want to pay for it to see it? And that's probably what I think a lot of the younger the younger audience is thinking. Yeah, I agree. And also remember, keep in mind, what was Netflix before it had House of Cards? Was mm-hmm. it going to be able to sustain itself right. like that? Right, no. right, right. What was DC? Nobody was getting the DC streaming service until Titans launched. Right. Everybody was waiting for their original content. Right. With all of these apps, when you... Indie theaters can't stay open. When you have right. the ability to keep creating new product, then people want to be the first one to see something. Yeah. We're also a celebrity-driven culture. We yeah. like our royalty, our celebrities. One way or another, you can... I'm not telling you you have to like the celebrities, but we're a celebrity-driven culture right Mm -hmm. so when big celebrities and and what i mean by that is so when you see the big movies that you know the avengers title on itself star wars and its title itself is is a celebrity right if you look at it as far as the this analogy goes because when you look at it, it is a popular thing that people know if it's these smaller things unless it's marketed very well or unless it has a big huge celebrity on it and that doesn't always sell shit either way it um it now it, it's it's hard it's hard to get people interested and have people care. Like for perfect example is this movie of, of Leave No Trace, right? Now I had never even heard of the movie. I'm in this business. Okay, I never I never heard of the movie. Probably, and I'm sure that it's come up. I'm sure I got a screening for it. And I just I missed it, but it was because of Jay Williams, who because of a show that d- done here, and then Jason Isaacs that I went back to listen to it, and two people that I respect their opinions and said, okay, let's same exact thing, and let's go and check it out. But now, even if I missed talking about it here, everything too, the point is, I should have like I, there should have been more about it. Not that it was a huge movie, but if you want more and more people to learn, the marketing's not behind those movies. Right, they it's live, got a big actor in it. Right, a big actor in but it. But they live. But those things live now on streaming. These right, yeah. live like a lot of these movies live on. And I heard Jay Williams take over the weekend that there are certain movies that just shouldn't be in movie theaters. And I think every movie should give a shot to be in movie theaters, but your budget shouldn't be directed. At those things like uh, Silence, by the way, Scorsese film, amazing movie. Yeah, crapped out in the in the theater. I think it would be a great movie to stream. Yeah, and you got a Star Wars yeah. actor in there. So yeah. it was, so leave no Stra- leave no trace debuted at Sundance. Okay, worldwide it made six million dollars. Okay, 
Um, what was the budget? It, it doesn't, it's not available. But go back to the, the thing about Filmstruck, guys, that you, that you had. So here's when you go to Filmstruck's site now, it says, regret to inform you that Filmstruck will be shutting down. Our last day of service will be November 29, 2018. We're currently no, no longer enrolling any new subscribers. All current film, uh, Filmstruck su- subscribers will receive an email with details about your account and the refund process is applicable. Please see the options below, blah, 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 blah. We would like to thank our many fans and loyal customers who supported us. Filmstruck was truly a labor of love in a world uh, with an abundance of entertainment options. Thank you for choosing us. That says it at the end. Yep, right there. That there's an abundance of entertainment options, and that's not the first thing you think of. Like, I love classic films. I have no need to have a streaming service. If there's an old movie that I really want, I'll look for it on Amazon or something. Yeah, I feel you. And and the truth is, we are right now talking about what is. We are dealing with what is. We're not talking about what we wish was true. I, I wish that there was more room for something like this, right. that there was more audience for that, because I think it's very valuable. Now, do we know that things come in waves? Absolutely. If this becomes trendy, if hipsters decide, or whatever the next, next hipsters are decide, classic movies are cool again, or whatever it yeah. is, and that somehow... Gets in the uh, in the mass in the masses, then fine. Maybe yeah, there is it's but. marketing. But it's it's all about marketing.